So you have found a product that you want to sell. I always think of that as the first step in your business is trying to come up with an idea. What is the product I want to sell? What kind of, uh, what avenue do I want to go in? So by now you've chosen maybe to go into affiliate marketing. Uh, maybe you've chosen e-commerce. Maybe you want to sell on Amazon, maybe you want to start an agency. That's your product. Like that's um, the, the gist of your business. But within that, you need to decide what your niche is because in any business, you have three main different niches. And I'm going to show those to you right now. And basically, everything falls into one of three categories. It's either in the health niche, the wealth niche, or the relationship with niche. Now, when I say anything can follow any of those categories, let's take affiliate marketing as an example. Within the affiliate marketing niche or business, I can really focus on health if I want to. I could help, uh, focus on wealth or I could focus on relationships. There's lots of products that pay out commissions to people as affiliates in all three of those niches. If you are in the e-commerce area, maybe you're selling products, you could sell products in any one of these three areas. So that's what you need to do first is choose which one of these three niches am I going to really focus on. Now, Dan Kennedy talks about the red ocean versus the blue ocean. And one of the things um, he has said is <clears throat> you want to commit to a niche and then try to stop being everything to everyone. If you don't, let's say you're in the health and fitness industry, health and fitness can create wealth actually when you start feeling more confident um, and, and you start getting that skip in your step, you know, it, you, you, you could create more wealth and it also helps with relationships. They're all interrelated and everybody in life, all three of those things are interrelated. But when you start putting out content and becoming an expert, people aren't going to see you as an expert because you're too broad. You're covering too many things. Now I am going to share something. Once you become known and once people know you as an expert, then absolutely you can talk about those other things. I'm going to give you an example. I was listening to a podcast, The Millennials, and it's these two guys, they get on the podcast together and they talk about how to become a millennial, how to get rid of your stuff and things like that. Well, you can only talk about that so much. And I noticed I was listening one day, it was like the 30th podcast and they were talking about relationships and how both of them didn't want to ever get married again or something like it was all about that i'm like what does this have to do with millennialism but the point is you're already hooked you're already talking listening to that person you've already seen them as an expert so then they'll share other things i've heard some affiliate marketers start sharing what their morning looks like and most of them will say i get up in the morning and i exercise well that goes right into health but they talk about how feeling fit helps them with their business and then they have the energy to pursue so but that's not their niche if that makes sense they're still in the wealth area so i just want to let you know that if you have a lot to share eventually yes you can branch off and talk about those things but make sure you're seen as an expert in one area now i talked a little bit about blue ocean versus red ocean. You're like, I've talked about this before, but this is really, really an important concept when you're thinking about your business. And it may not be something that pops into your mind right away, but when you go into business and let's use health again, the health industry, you're going to go into what we call the red ocean. You are in, you're competing with tons of people, thousands of people, because everybody wants to get in that industry, that's an industry that will always have customers. But what you need to do is think of a way to make yourself stand out. This is when you start to narrow that niche down. You start to target it into a smaller niche and you hop over here into the blue ocean. This is where you put yourself in a category of one. So I can't think of anything right off the top of my head, but let's say in the healthcare industry, you started, um, let's say there's people that target women who just had babies. Okay. I, I do have an idea. There's a woman, I thought this was a neat idea. She started targeting women that had, I can't remember what it's called, but when the muscles in your stomach, um, they kind of elapse or whatever. She started a exercise regime that would help those muscles. And she became very, very popular, but see, she put herself over here. There weren't many people out there. And she even connected herself with a doctor and really had that credibility behind it. She wrote a book, started a website, she had a channel and that's where she went. Now, will other people catch on? They'll see what she's doing and say, Hey, that's a good idea. I'm going to do it too. Sure. That 
blue ocean can turn into a frenzy where everybody starts jumping on board and it becomes red. And that's where you always have to think one step ahead of everybody else. Basically, I like to think of it this way. How are you going to stand out from your peers? How are you going to make some noise where people see you and recognize you where you're different than everybody else in your industry or within your niche? And it's not always easy to do, but you always want to be thinking that way. And sure, in the beginning, you may just be waddling around in the red ocean. That's okay to get yourself going. But keep thinking of that in the back of your head that eventually I need to pull away. I need to be different if I really want to make it. Now, I have two things for you I want to give you today. And one is a PDF. It's called 20 Information Product Niches. I have to say I... Um, copied this from somebody that posted it in Facebook and it was fantastic. I think everybody in business needs to see this. But for instance, if you go into the relationship niche, how can you break it down? Maybe you just want to coach married couples. Even within that, do you want to help people stay together? Um, do you want to help them increase their communication? You can focus in and be an expert in one of these areas. Um, maybe you want to help people who have gone through divorces and, and, and help coach them get back into the game. Or maybe help people heal from a heartbreak. So all of that is relationships. You may want to just focus on men or just focus on women or focus on couples. Um, so there's all kinds of ways that you can go with that. Oh, I just drop that out of there just a moment. Let's put that back up. All right. Um, let's look down here at fitness, wellness, and health. Of course, you can go into the, the um, weight loss industry. You can help prepare people for competitions or marathons, which is a whole different avenue. Um, maybe you want to help people just make over their whole body and become something new, um, nutrition types of diets, vegan lifestyles. But the reason this document is so nice, if you read all the different niches and how you can really um, bring it in, you know, and, and go to that blue ocean, it's going to help you within your own area. So it, I think this is a great way to get your mind working and starting to target and bring it in. And like I said, if you start out with health and fitness and you're talking about food and you're not really sure what angle, then just start talking, just start talking in general terms. And then you may find that your audience will determine that niche and start bringing it in. Don't, the reason I tell you to get started is because sometimes when we, we hear all these things, it freezes us and we go, I, I don't know. I don't know what my niche is. I don't know exactly what my target audience is. And then you don't do anything. And then you've lost six months of time where you could have been building content and getting yourself known. And that takes a lot of time. So just jump in and just keep that in the back of your head that this is where I have to lead to. Okay. I have one other document for you because, um, Definitely, if you're starting a new business, and that's why I assume is watching right now, um, you need to have certain steps that you take. There's 12 different steps you need to take to get your business up and running. You are a business. If you're taking this seriously, then you will be filling out a Schedule C with the IRS for tax time and doing all those things. So let me go ahead and bring up another document that I have that I'm going to give to you as well. I call this my online business startup guide, and it has 12 steps actually. And in these 12 steps, it just tells you um, how do you get things in order, you know, select your market. It, it talks about this, but it also will tell you how to get set up as a business um, so that you're legit, how to find a domain, things like that. All the things that every business needs to do, and it's laid out for you on several pages here. You can print it off and then just start following it, checking them off as you accomplish each thing. But there's 12 different steps. Um, I have a link below that you can get a copy of this and I have a link below where you can get a copy of the PDF as well. So hopefully those are two documents that will help you with your business and definitely start thinking about your niche and how you're going to target, you know, bring that in smaller, a smaller niche where you're just the only one doing that. And again, you can gradually, you know, keep bringing it in smaller and smaller. All right. Hopefully this was helpful subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Um, it lets me know that people are watching, right? And I want to serve you and make videos that are going to help you get your business up and running. And that's what I do. I try to focus on, um, I'm here to help you to learn how to earn money, save time, and then find balance in your life. Those are the three things that I focus on. And that's what you'll see in my videos. All right. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.